Hello friends, this is Indranil and I welcome you all to my channel Programming is One. I am back with a new tutorial here. This time we will be creating a WhatsApp clone. Uh, that, this is the WhatsApp web that we have uh, in the browser. So let me quickly, quickly show you the actual version. The, this is the original version of WhatsApp that we see. And whenever you select a chat on the left hand side, you get this uh, chat box. Or chat window on the right hand side with your messages shown on the right hand right in this green uh, color and the messages that you receive uh, is display I mean, are displayed on the left hand side in in this uh, whitish yellow uh, whitish box okay and you have a header here with three icons on the right hand side and input field at the very bottom with a smiley and a mic icon here. Okay. So we will be creating a similar thing and one one more thing that if you decrease the size of this window so the, the application snaps to it at a certain breakpoint snaps to the browser and makes it a full full width application okay so this is our application this is our uh, initial page so in your real whatsapp you need to scan the qr code to sign in but here we will be using firebase as our as our backend and we will use google authentication authentication to authenticate ourselves so this is the initial page and you cannot access the application uh, without logging in so if i just try to access the application it will throw me back to the login page okay so click on sign in with the google button you get this, get this pop up you choose your account and should be signed in okay like this so this is a similar uh, structure as you can see we have the left sidebar the right page I, I copied this image from the actual whatsapp page okay and this is just an image showing here so if you do not click on any of these uh, rooms you will not see any information here and whichever room you choose your header will change according to that and you will only uh, see messages from that room so this these two rooms don't have any messages right now so they will show this uh, header only and if you click on third one where i i entered a couple of test messages so this is written by me so i'm seeing the, these in green color let's say if my friend rohit uh sends a message here so i can simulate that by going to that room the room name is uh, designing so i can go here and create a new document with the message hi guys and this is not me this is rohit who is writing the message okay and this takes four parameters okay so any time stamp so right now it's uh the first time is around 12 midnight so i save the changes and go back and this is a real time database so as soon as a new document is added or removed from this database you will see that reflecting here for automatically and you see since uh, i'm not rohit i'm seeing this message on the left hand side in white uh, box okay as we would expect in whatsapp and if i go here and type hey rohit how are you and hit enter so this has gone on the right okay so the timestamp is not matching because I entered this manually. Okay, I can show you that it works if I go here and log out and sign in with a different account. With my wife's account here. And go back here. So you see all these messages are in uh, white color. Okay, but now if I type hey all I say it in in green okay and this is a dummy message i can remove it from here this creating problems 
uh, with the actual formatting you can see the time is listed in this format but uh, I don't want this here if I do that everything goes back to normal and I can sign log out from her account go back to my own account and this time if I click on designing I should see her message here and the I can play back hey this is fun okay now you see it's properly stacking up okay and you can also start a new chat here so you can create a new room basically if by typing here the room name if you, if you choose a name that is already there you get this message sorry room is already present but if you choose something else like uh, what name let's say movies okay and since this name doesn't exist so it will create the room for you it will be a blank room okay and this room will also show up in the firebase console here so this is music this is movies it was just created okay so this this video or the next video will be a pretty long one because i will be wrapping the entire app in a one single video so please uh, stay with me have some patience and this is going to be a real fun okay and you can extend this app uh, as per your liking you can even deploy this on firebase and uh, enjoy this app in real time with your friends okay so we have a lot to explore so please stay tuned i'll see you in the next video uh, if you have any comments or suggestions please feel free to put that in the comments below i'll see you next time bye bye